Hey guys, this is Rubicon Joel. I'm here sitting my Jeep Wrangler Rubicon JK. I'm getting ready to go to Aglan Range and do a little exploring. The original plan was to go to Aglan Range and drive around, see what I can find. Aglan Range has a lot of, I'd say, hidden treasures, a lot of former or abandoned military equipment, lots of airplanes, lots of helicopters, tanks. You can get inside of them and they have watchtowers. But it's raining and it's not supposed to let off anytime soon, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Um, definitely expecting to do some modding there, but we'll see what happens. Um, first things first, I gotta grab some coffee and I'll catch you guys once I'm there. So guys, I'm finally on Aglan Range. I'm sitting here I'm on the first dirt road of the day. Uh, this dirt road's nothing impressive, but it should lead me to a trail I have in mind, which will lead me to this particular location I, I've planned this day around. This location's pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but if you're into history, and you, you will be interested in this location. Um, not exactly 100% confident that this road and the trail I have in mind will lead to it but it's worth a shot we'll check it out um, this I'm tracking all of my stuff today on Gaia so if you're interested in it or you're in the location you want to try some of these trails or check out these locations
while driving over to the location I had in mind, came across another location that looked pretty interesting, so I decided to stop here. And, um, that's where I am now. I just did some wheeling, um, took some pictures, and um, it was pretty, pretty fun. The sand is uh, very loose, and I really probably should have aired down my tires, but I wasn't really planning on spending that much time here, so I chose not to do so. I still uh, had a good time. I got to take some pictures. I, lo I love taking pictures, and hopefully these pictures turn out pretty good. Um, a minute ago it was raining pretty hard, but now it's mostly let off. Um, this location right here is it's very great if you're into mudding and going through sand and going up and down dune. So this is the location where I stopped. Endless amounts of sand and dunes can go up and down. Some of these are pretty steep. A few of them it took me multiple tries to get off it. Because originally I didn't build up enough speed. But again I probably should have aired down my tires. But I wasn't really planning on hitting this. It's extremely peaceful here. The rain has let off a little bit. So I had to, and I had the location all to myself surprisingly. But it's very peaceful out here. This would be a perfect spot to ride dirt bikes and quads. This is what my Jeep looks like right now. Despite how much I like it when it's clean, it does have a little character when it's got some mud or sand or dirt on it. The unfortunate part is I just cleaned it, the interior, and gave it a car wash.
found a location that I planned this trip around, and unfortunately for me, it's off limits to the public. Uh, it's all these tanks and trucks behind me. Um, they're they're part of Air Force's property, so they're absolutely off limits to the public. While looking at the satellite images, I didn't see the, that they were fenced in, and I was assuming that they were available to the public, but I was wrong. So I'll just continue on driving around Agon Range, exploring, seeing what's what else there is to do and while driving around I found these tanks behind me which is pretty cool they're all beat up and missing parts and old but um, it's still pretty cool I'm not exactly sure if this is public access or not um, I don't see any signs saying public access prohibited but I'm still gonna take a quick look and then get out of here in case I'm not supposed to be here so Agla Range has been super fun. Uh, to sum up the video, it's definitely worth your time. Um, there's so much to do here, so many trails. I only got to hit a few. Uh, I think the highlight of the day was the, the sand dunes. The dunes were amazing. I didn't really expect them. And a few of them were a little bit challenging, but that's down mostly to the fact that I did not air down my tires at all. I wasn't expecting anything difficult, so I didn't see the point in letting air out of my tires. But now, looking at it, looking back, I probably should have aired down the tires. Um, a, few, a few of the dunes did take me two or three tries to get up top. But um, besides that, it's, it's, Jeep did amazing. Um, didn't didn't get stuck, you know, which is a good thing. Uh, I I know this thing's super capable, but you know, you hear stories of people getting stuck and stuff. So that was some something on the back of my mind. But it didn't come close to getting stuck anywhere. Um, it's a Rubicon, so it's going to take a lot to get us stuck. Um, this video has been shot on a Canon EOS R6 and two GoPro cameras. Unfortunately for me, one GoPro decided it didn't want to work today, so I only used one. Um, I think it would have been awesome to have two perspectives, one in the front, one inside of the vehicle. But it didn't work out like that, unfortunately. Um, anything that uh, all the video footage in front of the vehicle, the side of the vehicle is all shot on a GoPro. Um, video of the footage of me is shot on a Canon ESR6. But um, yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. I'm gonna try to make this a regular thing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.